All right, so we're here at WonderCon in Anaheim, California, the beautiful Anaheim Convention Center. How are we doing today, Allison? I'm excited. It's a great morning. Got here early, picked up our badges. Yep, and we uh, we just got our uh, media badges, and now we got these cool little bags that uh, we're gonna go through and show you what you get when you come to WonderCon. Looks like you get a really cool WonderCon Anaheim 2022 program with uh, Wonder Woman on the front of it. And you get a little collectible pen. Ah, see? It's a free gift with purchase. So now that we've gone through our bags, we're gonna head on into the convention, see all the cool merch, hopefully see some celebrities. I don't I don't know what we're gonna see. It's been a long time for a WonderCon coming, so. It's great to be back. Yeah, let's get on in there. Which one's the fat dude? All right, so we just got done touring the Bluefin slash Bandai Namco slash uh, Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli Tamashi slash Nations. Tamashi Nations. They have a lot of stuff under their umbrella, but we saw some really cool new figures, uh, statues. Uh, heck, I mean, what, what, what were some of the things that we saw? There's some great Gundam exclusives that they have here at the event. They've got all new figures coming out, small blind boxes. Yeah, there was a, the Kirby anniversary is coming up, so they have these cool little Kirby Othello games where you turn the little guy over and he's, you know, one color on one side, one on the other. Uh, they have, oh my goodness, they have uh, Kirby silicone molds to make, like, you know, chocolate in Kirby shapes, because, you know, you gotta, you gotta do that, I guess. They've got a lot of great, um, different kinds of um, Tamashii Nations figures. They've got figure arts for Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, all the common Rider stuff. Uh, yeah, tons amazing. of common Rider yeah. things. A lot of IPs that were Japan exclusives that they're right. bringing in, which is fantastic. And yeah. lots of different scales. Small things for your desk, giant things for your display in your living room. Yeah, if you're at WonderCon this weekend, although you're not going to see this while you're at WonderCon, it's going to come out. It's it, You could literally spend an hour just walking around their booths. They have like four different booths all stacked together. They also have demo set up, so you can build paper theaters, nano blocks, Gundam. all here, Gundam at the site at the convention, which is great. Especially if you've never been into it before, you don't know quite what you're doing, they're there to help. So over here at the, the detentionart.com booth, they have these really cool posters. And basically the poster is a, is a picture of either the movie poster or something from the movie or the series that it's part of. But the actual detail is it's actually all made up of the words from whatever you're talking about. There's a poster of the thing from the actual the thing movie poster, but it's actually made up of all the words from the film. Pretty cool. So we're here at WonderCon, and I'm taking photographs for Gaming Shogun, and I found some pirates, and when I took the photograph, they gave me some pirate money. I guess this is my first paid photograph. Pretty cool. What convention, what convention wouldn't be complete without the t-shirt booth? Right. It's in every one of them and they're just wall to wall t-shirts. It's amazing. That is, that is really amazing. All right, so we're taking a little break. We're over here at the Hilton at this place called The Mix. It's a place that's been here for years. I love going to this place for breakfast and lunch during WonderCon. You get a great breakfast buffet in the morning and the lunchtime specials are always really good. So time to eat. All right, so we're leaving the mix now, and we're going to start heading back over to the convention center. So, back to it. That's 
different from other backpacks is that this harness actually detaches and is appropriately fitted to the individual so if you're a small you're a large um, I'm not gonna stream my back with whatever you guys have um, so it also serves as a dual messenger bag like a day pack as well it is really cool so it is breathable okay that, that's got to be super cool to wear on your back all day that's yeah. nice and, and the most important thing harness? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, and the most important part is that it's it fits you to so that you're not distributing so you're distributing the weight um, evenly, so you're not going to strain your back. So we're here in front of the fountains at the Anaheim Convention Center. And during WonderCon, it's uh, usually a place where a lot of cosplayers gather. There, there are specific gatherings that take place, just a lot of photography in general. It's a place for people to show off their costumes, and it's pretty cool. We're seeing a lot of really cool stuff. How are you all doing? Great. There's so much going on today. Um, pretty cool. I love all the different costumes that we're seeing. We're seeing Ninja Turtles, we're seeing Disney princesses, video game characters, anime, like they're all here today. Yeah, it's quite the eclectic mix of costumes out here. Uh, really quite something to see. If you've never come to a, a WonderCon before, you really need to, if you're into cosplay, it's, it's a great place to come. So, so let's check out some of the costumes. So we just walked out of the convention center. We're here in the parking garage, we're ready to get back in the car. WonderCon 2022 for us is done. Woo, that was a day. What do we all think? So much fun. I had a great time. It was, it was really fun. I loved seeing the cosplayers. They had to be my favorite part. Um, they had old people dressed up, kids dressed up. They had like really professional costumes, homemade costumes. Um, it was awesome. I had a blast. Yeah, it was fantastic. Allison, what did you like the best? The exhibit hall was fantastic this year, like always. There's the artist alley, there's the bigger booths with companies coming in, there's a bunch of smaller press and independent businesses, and there's something for everyone there, which I really loved. Yeah, I agree. Uh, a lot of cool merch, um, and I, it, it, was, it was great. There weren't too many people there. It felt like there were. it was busy, but it wasn't super busy. I, I have nothing negative to say about WonderCon. Even the food was decent. I, 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 fantastic. Yeah, it was a fun day. We spent a lot of time here yeah. um, and had a blast. Yeah, so uh, if you like this content, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Isn't there a bell now or some sort of squiggly symbol icon? I don't know, but do all the stuff and follow the channel so we can grow this thing and keep doing all this fun stuff for you. So, see you later.